ETS 6 Professional is here with a lot of changes maintaining and further promoting the three major assets of KNX and ETS smart, secure and open. In this video you will see how easy it is to create a KNX project with the new ETS 6 Professional. If you want to become more familiar with creating routines and connecting devices with the new ETS 6, you can start in only a few clicks thanks to KNX Virtual Tool. In few minutes, you will learn step by step how easy it is to create a project by setting up a simulated KNX installation using this tool created by KNX. But what is KNX Virtual? KNX Virtual is a Windows based application that simulates a KNX installation. Using KNX Virtual, you don't need to invest in hardware such as power supply, USB or IP interfaces, or KNX devices, as you will work with virtual devices commissioned by ETS 6 Professional. KNX Virtual actually represents more than 20 different types of KNX devices, all connected to one TP line. These KNX devices operate upon several building loads, like lamps, dimmable lamps, blinds, heating and cooling valves, but also make it possible to rehearse with more advanced building features like weather modules, alarms, scenes and even logic operations. Next, we will explain step by step how to implement a basic project with the new ETS 6 and how to test its operation with KNX Virtual. The desired functionality is based on the control of a dimmable light circuit from a double push button. Later, the project will be expanded to control 8 dimmable circuits, 8 on off lighting circuits and 8 blinds. The design phase is the most important part of a KNX project. In terms of time, it represents about 80% of the total time invested. A good tip to be successful in the design of a KNX project is to follow the design steps in the correct order and to know the more advanced functions that ETS can offer for the configuration and association of devices. The very first step to do is to create a new project. To do so, just open ETS 6 and select the button New Project in the dashboard. Here you can give the project a name. We will leave the rest of the options by default for this example. Once the project is created, the workspace with the Buildings window will open. In order to arrange the devices in an orderly manner, it is important to create a building structure suitable for our project. In this example, we will only add a room to locate the fill elements and a board to locate the DIN rail elements. Next, we will insert the virtual devices. After selecting the option Add Devices, the dialog product catalog appears. We must look for the manufacturer KNX Association and select, for this example, the devices Clix D4 and Dimming Actuator D0. One of the most important steps is the proper selection of device parameters. Here you will see the configuration chosen for the first channel of the push button and the first channel of the dimming actuator. In a typical Kinex project design, next steps would be the creation of group addresses and the corresponding association with the group objects of each device. However, there is an advanced option that allows you to summarize all these tasks in one single step. For this, it is possible to create a function in the same building view, in this case to control a dimmable light. The created function will include the group addresses required to associate. Once the function is created, we proceed to directly associate with the function's push buttons channel 1 and dimmer actuators channel 1. In the dialog that follows, we must verify that the association between addresses and group objects is correct. Finally, we should check in the building view that the associations made between group addresses and group objects are correct. We can filter by channel name to drastically reduce the info shown on the screen. 
After this final check, we can consider the design of the project finished. After the design phase that is already finished, we must carry out the commissioning of the devices. The procedure is identical to the one that we would carry out in a real project, but the connection to the bus in this case will be done through KNX Virtual. First, we must start the KNX Virtual application and define via the ETS menu the IP port of the IP interface, D20. The default port is 3671, but we can choose a different one if needed. Once the application is started, the interface can be selected in the Settings, Connection Manager, dialog of ETS6. Then we just need to select the first device to program in the Buildings view and choose the option Download All. To program the individual address of each device, we need to press the red icon in the upper right corner of the corresponding device. This icon represents the programming button and programming LED of the device. Next, we select the second device to program in the Buildings view and choose again the option Download All. Finally, we can observe in the Buildings view that both devices have been fully programmed thanks to their programming flags. The biggest advantage of using Kinex Virtual is that no physical device is necessary to be able to test our programming. Kinex Virtual allows managing multiple types of devices, from the most traditional, switching, dimming lights or shutter control, to some more advanced, alarms, modules, weather station, or logic modules. There are different views in Kinex Virtual to show the interaction between virtual devices. Here we can see the interaction and behavior of the first channels from the configured devices. For the push button, short and long press are possible to simulate switching and relative dimming controls. The status value of the dimmer's first channel can also be easily appreciated. On the other hand, the connection with KNX Virtual also allows the use of the bus and group monitors in ETS6. Therefore, Using the group monitor, it is possible to send telegrams to the devices and see the result in KNX Virtual. In this way, there are no differences with respect to the test that we can carry out from ETS6 at any real installation. Up to this point, we have seen how easy it is to configure in ETS6 a small project using one push button and one dimmer. Now we will expand this configuration for the remaining seven channels of both devices we only must repeat the last three steps of the project design explained before. The configuration of the parameters can be done in a single step, previously selecting all the channels to be parameterized and making the change for all of them at the same time. In this webinar, we have seen how simple it is to use ETS6 and KNX Virtual to learn and reinforce the basic concepts of KNX integration, interacting with multiple kinds of devices and parameters with no investment. Thank you for your attention. Now it is your turn to test the new ETS-6. Enjoy! <laughs>